Hello, I am CoolDan1, and today I will show you how to make a Minecraft server with or without Hamachi. Um, without Hamachi, you have to port forward for people externally to connect your computer. Um, if you don't know how to port forward, I'll put that in another tutorial. But if you don't know how to port forward, you can just use Hamachi, which will, I'm pretty sure will, I'm guaranteed to work. It's what I use. I port forwarded, but like it doesn't always work, so I just use Hamachi. So you go to this website, the link will be in the description. If you can also Google a cent or craft bucket essentials and then um, go to this website and click install guide. And if you scroll down, you'll see get craft bucket right here. And it says get the recommended version of craft bucket, safe build. So click safe build and it will download the recommended version of craft bucket. And then go up here and download essentials, this button right here. Um, if you're in Safari, it will automatically unzip it. If not, you can just unzip it yourself. Um, and then once you get the file, um, make a folder called Minecraft Server or whatever you want to call it. Um, and move the craft bucket file into the folder. Rename it to whatever you want. Um, and to run the file, go into Terminal and type in CD and drag the folder in here. Or if you don't want to do that, like you never maybe you never saved it to your desktop. Type ls and it'll come up with all your directories, and you type cd wherever it is. Ls again, cd Minecraft Server two. So now you're inside the folder. So you type this Java. So it opens Java. Xmx one two four and Xms one two zero four or whatever. It will tell it that basically tells it to run one gig of RAM or memory on the following file, which is a jar file. You type it just like that, whatever you named the file, and you press enter. And then you wait a couple minutes, and it will, it will create all these files over here. It will create all of them. And then once you've done that, um, I'm not going to do it here because it crashes the screen recorder. But once you've done that, just type stop and enter, so it stops the server. And then if you open text edit, and close this, and drag server properties file. On a text edit, you'll see all the server properties. You can name the world, um, allow nether, which is like um, the hell or whatever, where everything's lava and this flying ghost shooting at you. Um, spawn monsters, yes or no. Online mode, which is basically, if you have online mode on, that will be anybody who's bought Minecraft will be able to join. If they haven't bought Minecraft, they can't join. If it's off, anybody can join, even if they have like a hacked version. Um, so after that, you have spawn mon spawn animals, max players, server IP. If you port forward, you'll have to enter your external IP, which you can go to whatismyip.org to get. Um, if you don't port forward, you can just enter your external IP, which most of the time is just that. Um, PvP, that's player versus player. If you turn that off, then players can't kill each other. If it's on, then players can. Um, you could do a level seed, which is like when it makes the map what seed it uses. Server port, leave that as this, don't change it. Allow flight, whitelist, just leave that. So yeah, and then go in, you'll see a folder called plugins. What you want to do is open the essentials folder over here and drag all of these files into the plugins folder. And once it's in there, you then run the Minecraft server again. And um, it should create some files. And then once that's done, you can download World Edit or World Guard, which you can just Google for it. So once you get here, it will say you need World Edit. So you can just click World Edit right there, and it will take you to that. And then you can download World Edit 4.6. See, it's downloaded. If you go over here, Back to World Card, and then download World Guard 5.2. Um, once that's done, also drag those into your plugin folder. Um, so basically, you just want to take this World Guard folder, I mean World Guard file, and don't put it the folder in. Put it like outside of the folder, so we can delete that folder now. And do the same for this. World edit, copy, paste, and then see this craft scripts folder. You want to copy that, 
and then go back out of plugins and put it in here. So now it has a folder outside of there, and you can delete this world edit folder now. So it looks like that. <clears throat> So then run it again and it'll create like config files and you can just drag that into text edit again to change all the settings like if TNT is allowed to blow up or fire is allowed to spread, stuff like that. Um, so then once you've done that, you can if you can run the server like I said. If that doesn't work, you can download a program called Logme and Hamachi, which link will also be in the description. And basically you make an account and you create a network and once you create a network, it will give you um, uh, ID, and people can join your server by entering that ID and the password for it, or if you put no password on it. And then, um, once you do that, you can open Hamachi, and it'll give you an IP up here. This right IP right up there. And, um, go back into the config and server properties, and you just enter it. You would just enter the IP in here, just like this. Just like that, and then you'd save it, like so, and close it. And now, for if you were to use this, for people to join your server, they would have to um, join your, they would have to download Logme and Hamachi, and uh, join your network that you made, and then go onto Minecraft and enter this IP once your server's running. And yeah, that's pretty much it. If it doesn't work, leave a comment in the section or leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll try and get back to you and help you. Um, yeah, thanks for watching and subscribe.